Hi, my name is John, and in this video, I will discuss about test reliability. This video will answer four important questions. One, what is test reliability? Two, how do we determine reliability in language testing? Three, what factors affect reliability of language test? And four, is it possible to have reliability without validity? Now let's start with our first question. What is test reliability? Test reliability refers to the degree in which a test is consistent and stable in measuring what it is intended to measure. Most simply put, a test is reliable if it is consistent within itself and across time. To uh, make you understand test reliability, I'll give you an example. Let's suppose a student took a test on grammar comprising 100 items and got a score of 90. This student further took the same test two days later and got a score of 45. For the third time, the student took the same test and received a score of 70. Since the student's knowledge of grammar cannot go under drastic changes within this short period, the best explanation would be that there must be something wrong with the test items administered to the student. The test is therefore not reliable because it does not produce consistent scores. Hence, it is not possible to make a sound decision on the basis on such test scores. Now to make you even more understand, uh, I'll give you another example. This is a medical thermometer. This medical thermometer is a reliable tool that would measure the correct temperature each time that it is used. So it is reliable because it measures the correct temperature each time that it is used. In the same way, a test is reliable if it produces consistent results each time that it is used. Okay? Now, let's proceed to our second question. How do we determine reliability in language testing? How do we find out if a test is reliable or not reliable? There are four major methods of determining reliability in language testing. This will be explained to you by one of my uh, group mates. All right. So the first one is test retest. The second one is parallel forms. The third one is interrater. And the fourth one is item reliability. Number three, what factors affect reliability of language test? The major factor which affects reliability of test items is the length of the assessment. According to Sattler 2001, she stated that the test length is a major reliability of test, or a major factor in reliability of test. So she mentioned that the longer the test is, the more reliable it is. Uh, used 2003, again, uh, also two reasons why tests are unreliable. He said that uh, the interaction between the person taking the test and the features of the test itself and the scoring of a test are two uh, factors that could uh, make the test unreliable. Number four, is it possible to have reliability without validity? So a test cannot be valid unless it's reliable. In other words, if a test is valid, it is almost always reliable. However, a test can be reliable without 
being valid. To make you understand this, I'll give you an example. So let's uh, say this is a weighing scale. However, uh, this weight scale is calibrated incorrectly. Let's say it shaves off 3 kilograms from your true weight. So let's say uh, on Monday, you weigh yourself and uh, you weigh 50 kilograms. The next day, you weigh 50 kilograms. And on Wednesday, you, all, you still weigh 50 kilograms. So as you can see, it gives uh, consistent results, which means that it is reliable. However, uh, you know that this weigh scale was calibrated incorrectly. So, although the results are reliable, it is not valid, okay? However, if uh, something is valid, it is also reliable, all right? So, that ends my uh, report about um, test reliabil reliability. What I covered is only the introduction towards this uh, topic, all right? Thank you so much, and... Have a great day.